So everybody, it's what Jim, and this is a game review for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. And this, this is a non-spoiler review, which means you don't have to have played the other, other Ratchet and Clank games, or Ratchet and Clank Rift, Rift Apart to get spoiled for this game. You won't be getting spoiled as this is a non-spoiler review. Um, and it, it's a sequel to the 2016 Ratchet and Clank game, which I wasn't really the biggest fan of, and I'll explain why. So for me, I just thought it was one of the hardest video games I've played. The final boss took my dad and I about two days to try and get it done. And it was really, really difficult. Um, so I always thought, thought that the first game was, well, the 2016 remake for Ratchet and Clank. I always thought it was overrated. I didn't know why people loved it that much. So I just thought it was too difficult. And I didn't really have that much enjoyment out of it. I also thought the story was just very generic. There wasn't anything amazing about the story. Um, but when this game came along, I wasn't really sure what to think about it, to be honest. I wasn't sure would I, would I love the game, would I just like it as much as the first Ratchet Rat 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 and Clank. I wasn't really sure what to really expect. And this game absolutely blew me away, which we'll go ahead and talk about you know, right now. We'll, we'll get started with the good. You can also let me know what you thought of the game in the comment sec section below. What, what, would you rate, what would you rate out of 10? Um, and did you enjoy it as much as I did? And now we will start with the good. So we'll start off with the gameplay side of things for the game, which I think the gameplay is perfect. I can't fault it. I don't think there's any problems with it. It feels great in, 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 in your hands. I forgot to mention that this is a PS5 exclusive. Um, and I, I just absolutely just love the way it plays. It's really, really satisfying in the game as well. And the the controls aren't too difficult. They're, they're the perfect difficulty. Um, it's definitely a very, I think, quite a challenging game. Not as challenging as the first Ratchet and Clank, but I de definitely did think that the gameplay was even better in this one. I thought that the gameplay of the first Ratchet and Clank wasn't anything too unique. There are new added things into this one, which makes the gameplay even better. And it's just a really, really fun game to play. And I think the gameplay is probably my favourite part of the game because I think it's done to perfection. Um, in terms of, of, of the controls, I was just mentioning about it then, the fact that the controls aren't, aren't too difficult to remember. There's not a huge amount of controls to remember, but each 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 control definitely does feel like the right button. Um, the, 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 there's not a control, I think, or oh, it should be that button instead of that one. They they all felt, felt like they, those should have been what the buttons were and, and the controls and gameplay were just were just outstanding in this game for me. I also thought it had a lot of variety, which is what I look for in video games. I love video games that had a good amount of variety. And this one definitely has a lot of variety. One minute you'll be rail grinding, next minute you'll be shooting bad guys, and maybe next minute after that you might be go you might be um going ahead and um ho hovering over a structure or something. That's just it's just really varied with 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 what you do in the game and it makes the game unique and a really fun experience for me as i also well. thought that, that was a problem in 2016 one is it did get a bit repetitive and this one it didn't really get repetitive at all because it was just really really fun and there were so many different scenarios in 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 the game as well I also mentioned men about the difficulty which um i what well, was definitely a problem in the first ratchet and clank and i would see it being a problem here I feel like sometimes it's too easy, um, which is really, really weird to, to have a game that's really, really hard. And well, it's not, that's quite easy part. Um, but I definitely did really enjoy this one. And it definitely did have a challenging moment, just not as much as a Ratchet and Clank from 2016. In terms, in terms of the graphics, I think it's one of the best looking games I've ever played. It looks like it's a Pixar cartoon. It's that good. It looks absolutely amazing. And it's just breathtaking. And then, and there are a few times in the game you just want to just sit there looking look looking just all around the scenery and all around the buildings and stuff. It just it just looks really, really amazing in the game. And it just it, it definitely did, did take my breath away in terms of how amazing the graphics were. Um in terms of the story, I thought it was better than the first Ratchet and Clank. It had a lot of twists and turns, which I appreciated. I thought all the new characters were amazing, the voice acting was amazing. Just I think everything about the story I did find amazing. I thought it was paced rather well. I thought it was enjoyable for pretty much all the way through. I thought that the story, I thought the writing for the story was done really well. 
and I was really pleasantly surprised with the story. I wasn't expecting much much from it to be honest. Um, and I think all the characters were were great, especially with Ratchet and Clank. They've got an amazing relationship together. They've not got as much of a relationship in this one. I feel like the last one they were together a lot more. But I do love the character new, new characters, um, especially with with Rivet. I think Rivet is is an amazing addition to this franchise, and um, I still think Ratchet's my favorite. But all the characters in this game I did really enjoy, and they were all quite memorable to me as well. Um, and I also thought the side characters were were really mem really mem mem memorable and fun to see. Um, I thought they all had. I think all the characters had a great had great relationships with each other, and definitely brought all of them and I thought they were all done very very well um, I think near, near perfect um, I thought the collectibles were fun to collect there weren't too many of them to get but the one the ones that there were to get they were sat sat satisfying and enjoyable to collect and I also thought they were quite rewarding as well there was also a lot of variety with puzzles which was really really fun to see um, again it just made the game a bit more of a, of a unique and varied experience um, and it made it made you think the the, the challenges definitely made you think more than more than the other things in the game that the puzzles definitely did, but I didn't find that a problem. I thought it would, they were very enjoyable those puzzles. There is just one part of the game that it's not really the controls or the gameplay's fault, but it's just there's a, you have to, have to press R two. I'm not sure if you have to press L two as well, but you definitely have to press R two, and it's really really stiff. And I'm not sure if you can change that in the settings. Let, let let me know if you can. And speaking of settings, there's also photo mode, which I've not used yet. I'm a big fan of photo mode. I've taken many, many screenshots um, using the photo mode. And there's loads of different options. I've just not used it yet to really talk much about it. But if you're a fan of photo mode, you're, de you're definitely going to really, really enjoy that part of the game. Moving on with the boss fights. I thought the boss fights were very enjoyable. A bit underwhelming with the final boss, but I think I mentioned that in the bads. We'll talk more about that in a minute, but I thought they were really enjoyable and fun. Um, there were also lots of different armour and weapons, which is great to see. There were a variety of weapons, which the first Ratchet and Clank, well, the, re the remake in 2016, had um, a variety of weapons, but it's nice to have loads, lo loads of different armour, loads of customizability with it, and it just makes the game a lot more of a fun experience as well. Um, I also thought the game's paced rather well. There wasn't really many slow, boring parts. I was just having a blast throughout the entire game. I thought the length was perfect, not too long, not too short. Maybe a bit on the shorter side, maybe the game could have been a bit longer, but I don't think I would have thought the game was as enjoyable as it was for me. Um, but now we'll move on to the bad. An excellent game, but there are some negatives I want to mention about it. So I've got that the final boss was a bit underwhelming for me. Maybe it's because I had the game of the second easiest difficulty. But I was thinking, oh, is that it? Is that literally what the final boss was? I thought there was going to be a second section to it that was going to be even harder. I think because last time in, in the remake for, for Ratchet & Clank in 2016, I thought that one was one of the hardest boss fights we'd done, and this one was one of the easiest ones. It was just really weird that I felt like the last one was too difficult, and I felt like this game was too easy, especially with that final boss. It was just underwhelming for me. Um, there, were certain, there were certain areas... You use Ratchet and certain areas you use Rivet, and I think that after the story is completed, you should be able to play as both of them in any of in any of the worlds rather than having to play as Ratchet in some of them, Rivet in some of them. And I just find that it would just be a bit more fun if you could choose which one to play as rather than choosing it for you, uh, which I think should be some, some something that happened once the game once the story was completed. Um, I, I think it would have just be a nice thing to to have added. The story, I didn't find perfect. I rate the story probably a 9 out of 10. Um, I can't make 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 it a 10 because I didn't, I didn't think it was perfect. I can't think of any problems with it, though. I just didn't think it was a perfect story. It didn't feel like a masterpiece. But it was a really enjoyable story. And I was definitely in, in, in for the ride. A lot of twists and turns, like I mentioned, for the good. Um, I, had, I had a very good time with the story. It just wasn't a masterpiece of a story for me. Um, and I'm just nitpicking with, with the bad here. It's honestly just an, an outstanding game. So in terms of the verdict, I recommend this game for people who like um, the Ratchet & Clank fran franchise and for people who like the 2016 remake of Ratchet & Clank, which I know I've, men I've mentioned a lot, but I like to compare games when I do game reviews some sometimes. It just makes them a bit more fun, fun and unique 
um, to do these type of videos um, when, when, when I compare the games some, sometimes. Um, and it's my ninth favorite game of all time, this is. It's absolutely amazing. I'd highly recommend to check it out. And I would rate the game a 9.5 out of 10. Um, and if you're not going to PS5, um, to do, unfortunately, you're just going to have to wait until the PS5 is available. It'd be nice if it's on the PS4, but unfortunately it isn't. Um, and so if, if you've got a PS5, this is definitely a must-buy. If, if, if you haven't, wait, wait, wait until you get a PS5 to play it. Or if you're not going to get a PS5, maybe, maybe, maybe you could just watch someone do a walkthrough on, on YouTube. Um, that, 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 that's, that's another thing to recommend doing, but I absolutely loved it. I might even complete just the game again because it wasn't too long to complete. Um, I had a blast all the way through and I, I couldn't recommend it any higher, honestly. And that, that's really all I've got to say for the game review. The Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. It's just amazing to see that um, I wasn't really the biggest fan of the first one. I liked it um, and this one I just absolutely love. Um, I, I think I would rate the first Ratchet and Clank, well, the remake, I'd rate it probably a 7.5 or an 8. Um, I did, I did, there were some, there were some parts I did really, really enjoy, but this, but this one, I just thought was just better, was just better with pretty much everything about the game, in my opinion, um, and that's really what we're going to say for this re review, thank, thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment, let me know what you think of this game in the comment section below, but no spoilers please, as it's a non-spoiler review, and as always, I'll see you guys in my next video, which actually I'm doing at the the video, um, another video right after this one, which I'm announcing some some something, so you can go ahead and watch that if 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 you want. It won't be as long as this video. Don't worry, this is one of my longer re reviews. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, ciao.